Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, some of you may have just watched my tarot video and for some reason there's no audio on there. You know, whenever this happens, little weird things occur and you sit there and you think, what the heck was that? We've got to sit there and work it out. When we don't hear something, that means that someone didn't want to receive the message. So I'm going to do it again. Because <laughs> I love talking the truth. So maybe there is someone out there who's not going to like this week's tarot. Okay. So the first card because I've still got them all here because I've only just uploaded the other video but now it's deleted so if you didn't see it you didn't see it but there was nothing to hear there okay there was no sound so the first card that I got from the little lovey dovey cards was love would be thoughtful and caring now the message of this week is that we have got to put away all our past behaviors and characteristics guys this is where we say to ourselves, do we want to be on the right side of the fence in this spiritual war? We can't just say anymore, we are spiritual, yet we go home, we're bickering with our partners, we're accusing somebody at the checkout for doing something that we think's wrong. Then we go and whinge and witch, with a capital B, to our friends about another certain friend. We can't do that anymore, guys. We're either on board with this or we're not. This is the messages I'm getting. We must start walking the talk. Now, do you know what that means? It means that if you say you're spiritual, then get on your spiritual persona. Start amplifying out of you we don't have to go and tell people stand on our soapbox in the middle of the city and say i am spiritual come to me if you want to be saved we don't have to be like that guys we just have to live it within us we have to be the ones who are in charge of winning this war because we are in a spiritual war and i'm going to do a video it's going to be called R, capital R, capital U, are you on the right side? So that's a video I'm going to do this week. So please stay tuned for that because a lot of people aren't going to like it. So if you want something a little bit controversial, let's see how many views I get for that one. Are you on the right side? Okay. So the first one says, the little lovey-dovey card, it said, love would be thoughtful and caring. This is when, guys, instead of going up to your shops and just saying, oh, look at that guy, look what they're wearing. Ew, I'd never wear that. That's actually accusing. That's being judgmental. Stop doing that. Okay? If you see an animal, um, a bird or something sitting in a park, walk over and see if it's all right. Don't just judge that it's, oh, it's just sitting there. Don't just say oh yeah another animal i don't have to worry about that i've got too much on my own plate to go over there because now we're showing that we're being selfish okay when god when the universe gives us opportunities to show that we are thoughtful and caring it's not about us it's always about someone else so ring that random friend that you haven't spoken to for six months and say hey i was just thinking about you are you okay I don't want anything today. How many times do we ring someone and it's all about us and what we want to share with them? Oh, I've got to ring Sue today and tell her all this stuff. How about we turn that around and we say, I want to ring Sue and see if Sue is okay. I want to find out what she's done this week. I don't want to tell her anything about me because this is not about me anymore this whole scenario with the world is no longer about just me it's about me giving to the whole world to know that we are all in this together every single person is stressed every single person on the planet 
is going through issues. We all want money, 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 money. I had a reading the other day and the person said to me, how do I get a million dollars before Christmas or else I'm going to lose my house? I said, dude, you're doing it the wrong way. You don't get a million dollars and then be spiritual. You be spiritual and the universal magic brings in what you need. So that person was doing it the wrong way around, weren't they? Okay, so we don't concentrate on what we need or what we want, I should say. The universe always gives us what we need, not what we want. Okay, I want right now a holiday in the Bahamas where I'm sitting on the beach with my cabana boy bending over, cleaning the pool. That's a nice little visual. But when I, but does the universe say, <laughs> Linda, do you need that? No. So they give us what we need, not what we want. Okay. All right. So the first card, start thinking about others because we are now in end game times. Okay. That's what I'm getting to this week. My little ruin that I got, and I'll tell you this because I've just done it and I've deleted the video. It was this one here. It's called the spear, um, the thorn. Okay, so here he was. Okay, it says the ruin of the thorn associated with the thorn as protection and also thorns hammer. Okay, three points we've got. It's a signal to pause and consider where the current situation should be changed. We need to start changing our behavior. We need to start walking our talk, guys. Okay? Talk the walk or walk the talk. Okay? If in a difficult situation, challenge the matter using objectivity and reason. Ask yourself, do I need this? Do I want it? Is this going to work in my higher good? We ask ourselves these things, guys. Third dot point. If part of a positive cast may indicate presence of strong protective and healing energies for me. Now, funny how it says healing energies because the card, I've just deleted the video. Some of you have watched it, by the way. It had six views. So from the Louise Benton range of cards, we got the healing card. So all these cards again are working together. Now wait until you hear what the last one is. You think this is a doozy? Wait a moment. See with this card. So this is the healing card. Release the bonds of days gone by. Stop believing all the stuff that we've been told. Forgive and let go. Let spirits fly. This is where we say, you know what? You can do whatever you like, Gil Bates. I don't care anymore because I am allowing you to be who you are. Schwal Cobb, if you know who I'm talking about there, change around the initials. Okay. Okay. His first name is Klaus. And, he, and the last one sounds like a swab of alcohol swab. You know that guy? With what he's now coming out and saying? Oh my God, let these people be who they are. Don't judge, don't accuse them, don't hate them and don't blame them because those are all negative traits that we've got to stop doing, guys, okay? Liberate the ancestral lines, patterns and beliefs that cut and bind. Cut and bind. Release the stuff that no longer serves, so we cut those, and bind together those attributes, qualities, traits, and beliefs that we do possess that are in our higher good, okay? A symbolic bond with earth we share. Well, nature. Get back to nature. She feels our pain and our despair. Transform with, with, with from within and find your peace. Heal, okay? Heal. Um, only then the turmoil of this world will cease. So even the card is saying it. When we start being more positive, loving, angelic sort of people, all this crap goes away. 
okay because the more positive the more loving the more we go out there and say i love you unconditionally the more we go out there and say you know what we're all having it bad i hope and pray your life turns out the way it should because you deserve greatness okay the more we say that to even our enemies and those that we disgustingly vehemently dislike the more we just send them love the more we're going to win this war okay allow acknowledge and embrace your pain and it's okay to say you know what i'm not okay it is okay to say i'm not okay it's okay to say i'm struggling i need help because that's acknowledgement of what we're going through that's acknowledgement that i am reaching out to other sources hopefully it's them ask them for your guidance ask them for their help ask them for their divine intervention because we're seeing it guys because divine intervention is another word for this little guy this is thor's hammer it comes in and does the work that we don't have to okay all right from shadow there is much to gain so look within the darkness of our own souls look at all those little secrets that we bear that nobody else knows about us you might have a little fetish that nobody else knows about you might have an addiction that you're trying to hide but it's okay to admit to those it is okay because at the end of the day we're all human at the end of the day we all have our fallacies we have our flaws we're not immortal at the end of the day it is okay to say i am a quivering wreck of dna i'm just this piece of jelly on the earth can i need your help it's okay to say that give me guidance give me divine intervention so i can learn how to be a better person so give me those opportunities even the bad doozy ones because it's when bad things happen to us that shows our character that shows if we're courageous it shows our gut emotion it shows us who we truly are and that is what is happening now true colors are coming out and a lot of people don't like it a lot of people are now waking up and saying oh crud i've made the biggest mistake i could have done how was i fooled get me back to the card behold the hidden gifts inside that will transmute the darkness into light so look at all our qualities that we have if you say oh what are my attributes okay i want to be loving i want to be kind and generous what are you doing to be loving what are you doing to be kind what are you doing to be loving and generous to others get off your butt go out there and pick up someone's rubbish go out there and open someone's door as they're going through the doorway go out there and help that bird in the park that's just sitting there even if it just flies away at least it showed that you were caring about it right because the more we do these little random acts the bigger it builds all around the globe and boom we're going to win this war okay no one ever wants to be nasty angry person ask any kid in primary school elementary school or whatever you call it prep no kid ever says when i grow up i want to be sitting in a mental institution taking heaps of pills every day because i can't deal with life no kid ever says that they want to grow up and have recognized respected professions they want to be loved and cherished by everybody okay so please be that person that you wanted to be as a child that's what the cards this week are showing us this life is just a chapter many paths you have trodden lives and times now long forgotten 
So let go of everything. Hold on to nothing. Let go of all those ideals. People are losing their houses. People are losing their homes, cars, jobs, relationships. How much DV and fighting is occurring right now? Only because these people don't know who they are. Therefore, they don't know who their partner is because now they're stuck with them all the time because they're not working. Oh, I didn't realize you did that. Then why did you marry the person before you knew who they were? Sorry, that's me judging. But it's true. How can you ever know what someone else is about until you know who you are yourself? Boom. Work it out, guys, because this is what's coming. We're in the end game. This is what the cards are saying, and it's urgent. We need to fight this war by sharing love. Not by fighting, not by accusing Gil Bates. Change the initials. It's not us saying, ooh, to anything. It's, oh, thank goodness, thank God, thank you for allowing me to experience this to show me I am a better person. I don't do that behavior that that other person did. When we hear bad things on the TV and you think, oh my God, there's some horrible people out there, then sit there and say to yourself, thank God I'm not that person. Thank God I have a moral compass that is teaching me right from wrong. Thank God I'm on the right side of this fence because we're in a spiritual war, guys, okay? It's all for your learning, the joy and the suffering. Wait for this card. It's coming. Release and be free. Let light fill your soul. As soon as we say, I'm not going to judge anybody anymore today why they do things. I'm just going to allow them to do whatever they have and I'm not going to cast any judgment on them. See how it goes for you. Walk down the street. If you see someone doing an illegal U-turn, just say, geez, I hope they're okay. And don't say, oh, stupid idiot, why did you do that for? I hope you get a ticket. Because then we're judging, we're accusing that person. And we're also, huh, oh my God. It causes us then to gossip because we go home and tell somebody else about it. So we're spreading that negativity. Don't allow other people's negative energy because that guy you doing the illegal U-turn, he had negative energy because he's breaking the law, right? So why would you want to inflict that onto yourself? Think about it, okay? Release and be free. Let light fill your soul. Be mindful. Tread lightly. Know what it is to be whole. So this is how we take our authority and take our power, guys. Heal the past grudges that we've been through. Don't allow others, people, to upset us anymore. Heal, okay? So, let's go over to the doozy. The doozy card. Oh, my God, it's number 13 in the major arcana. You know, we say 13 is... Um, could be a lucky card. It could be the most worst card in the deck. It's 13 in the Major Ancana because it is the death card. Dum, 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 dum. Okay. The death card heralds the ending of one phase in life to make way for a new one. Woohoo! So don't think of this card as a bad one, guys. Think of it as, a, as the opportunity to let go of what is in our past so we can create better and more loving life for ourselves and others in our future. Okay? It represents major change and transformation. We are only caterpillars going through that catalyst to become butterflies at the end of the day. Every day it's a new day to learn and grow. Okay? So every day look at it as an opportunity where we are truly coming into our own of who we really are. To benefit from change, we need to remain open to it and to recognize that through every life experience, we have been given the opportunity for major growth and learning on some level. So all the bad stuff that's happening, we take it as an opportunity to grow, okay? The death card can release us from what is no longer useful in our lives, but that we continue to hang on to. 
How many times do we hang on to issues? We hang on to grudges. We hanging on to all our being offended. Oh, you can't do that to me. I'm offended by what you're doing. Just allow people to do what they're doing, guys, okay? We don't have to get offended. Society is teaching us to be this way. Don't let it work, okay? In doing so, we deny ourselves a new opportunity that awaits us, okay? So this is telling us, if you want this new opportunity that is coming through all these cards... Love would be thoughtful and caring. So get off your butts. Go out there and be nice to somebody. Okay? Start healing the past. Allow others to be who they are without judgment, without accusation or assumption. And at the end of the day, know that Thor's hammer, that divine intervention is around us. And it's giving us the opportunity to be better as long as we ask for it. All you got to do is look to the sky and you say, you know what? I want to be a better person today. Help me be the best version that I am under your banner. I want to be a representative of all the angels. So allow me to be more angelic. Do angels gossip? Do our angels sarcastic? Our angels bickering and fighting with other people? Never! So put ourselves in the shoes of an angel and say to yourself, I want to be like an angel. I know I'll never be an angel because they're immortal and I'm just this mortal wreck of bleh, <laughs> DNA blubber. But at the end of the day, I can act like an angel. At the end of the day, I can show others what it is like to be an angel I can go out with my head high and I can tell people as I walk past them I hope you have a nice day today because there I am spreading that love and care I'm about to go up to the shop and one thing I always do at the shop is I make it a rule that when I'm in the shop I say hello good morning or how are you today to three people Why do I only make it three? But at the end of the day, how about you make that one of your rules too? Wherever you go, you've got to say, hello, good morning, or how are you today? To at least three people. Let's see if we can do that this week. And start being the winners of this war. Talk to you all again soon, guys. Bye.